Today, we'll talk about how to test your ability to be a software developer. My name is Bobby Davis, and I launched software companies and careers. There are more resources available to learn how to code than ever before. So why is there still such a big talent gap for tech jobs? I've talked to a lot of students about this, and I think I know the answer. Qualified people who would make great developers are disqualifying themselves from learning to code. Some of them have never even tried to learn. They think you have to talk like the guys on Big Bang Theory to have a career in software. Okay, well, for one thing, we expect quantized space-time to manifest itself as minute differences in the speed of light for different colors. Balderdash. Matter clearly consists of tiny strings. Others have tried to learn, and they got frustrated. They look at others and think, everyone is smarter than me. I want a new career as a developer, but I don't want to embarrass myself by trying. And then there's a third group. This group is really the most tragic. You know that you don't have to be a nerd to be a developer, and you know that you could master programming with some focus and hard work. But you struggle with the voices around you who discourage your dreams. It could be your boss, or maybe your friends, it could be your parents, or even your spouse. So every time you feel high and full of hope, a negative comment from one of them brings you down. And despite your best efforts, those voices in your head make you doubt yourself. I'm going to show you how to test whether you can be a professional software developer once and for all. So, I run a school of developers, but I've never been one to say everyone could be or should be a developer. Hey, I have two sons. One went to Coder Foundry, and now he earns his living writing software. The other's in film school. They both made the right career choice. So, not everyone can be or should be a developer. My argument is more people can write software than you expect. And my job is to help hidden talent discover their inner programmer and then get the training they need to go pro. My school has helped hundreds of people become developers from all walks of life. I've seen a marketing specialist, a 911 operator, a bakery owner, and a vet tech learn to code and get software dev jobs. And that's just naming the careers of a few of our amazing women students we've had. Before all of them came to Coder Finder, we helped assess their ability to pass the class. So this method I'm going to show you truly works. You'll finally get clarity about your abilities. A group of researchers in the UK studied students in their Computer Science 101 class to understand what it takes to learn programming. They repeated the test six times in two countries. What they discovered was surprising. Prior experience with programming doesn't predict your success as a developer. The students with no prior experience were able to do just as well as the students who had exposure to writing software before the class. Now that should encourage you. I don't care if you're 45 and just open up a text editor for the first time. You're just as likely to be a successful developer as a 20-year-old who has two coders as parents. Now, that doesn't mean everyone in the class did well. Of course, some passed and some failed, but what was the difference? The researchers gave a simple quiz at the beginning of the class. Then they measured who passed and who failed and associated those grades with the quiz. Now, here's the second thing that should encourage you. The researchers were careful to explain the quiz did not predict levels of performance. The quiz did show a trend of who passed and failed, but between those who passed, anyone could be an A or a C student. That's because coding is not just about raw intelligence. There's focus and grit involved. Your motivations are a big factor. Maybe some students were just curious about coding while others wanted to truly be software developers. Learning style is also a factor. Did some classes have teachers who were more like coaches? Did some students learn from a hands-off teacher who doesn't answer questions? Some of my favorite stories at Coder Foundry are about graduates who are not naturally gifted programmers, but they put in the work, they're committed to their craft, and they are working as software developers today. Okay, so the test showed you didn't need prior experience, and the test couldn't predict levels of performance, but what was the difference between people who passed and failed? How can you tell if this career is right for you? Well, the students who passed were able to consistently apply mental models to problems. Students who failed had the ability to form mental models. They were smart, but they didn't apply them consistently. That's a little confusing, so let me break it down. If I show a naturally talented developer how to attach a wheel to a car and then tell them to attach a propeller to a plane, they don't think, well, those are completely separate. I need to learn each one. Now, a person with coding talent sees the similarities between a car wheel and a plane propeller. They don't start from scratch each time you put a problem in front of them. This doesn't apply just to coding. You can be an awesome landscaper because you approach problems with a consistent mental model. The landscaper would also be a great coder. He just doesn't know it yet, and you don't know it yet either. Do you want to test your ability to be a coder? My team has created a free quiz you can use to figure out what you need to become a software developer. 
I invite you to take it today. Go to codeofrandy.com slash quiz. There's no way to study for it. There's no coding on the test. And the score doesn't mean you can or can't be a developer. A quiz will give you the clarity about what you need to do to become a professional. After you take the quiz, my team will give you customized advice on what you can do next to further your coding career. You know exactly what you need in order to become a professional programmer. This quiz will give you clarity and confidence, and you'll finally be able to ignore the doubting voices in your life or in your own head. So take the quiz today, but until then, good luck and keep coding.